If you're wondering how RVers cook Thanksgiving dinner inside their RV, well, we do most of it inside the RV. However, we do the smoking of the meat outside. Yeah, we have a portable smoker. Let's go check it out. We have the Davy Crockett Green Mountain Grills, uh, portable smoker. Check it out. We got ham and we got a turkey breast. Smoking away. A couple more hours, we'll be ready to chow down. Okay, we're gonna make viral mac and cheese RV style. This is how you make the most famous mac and cheese in an RV. First you start with a 10 by 13 pan. You put your cheese right in the middle. You're gonna need 32 ounces, also known as four cups heavy whipping cream. You're gonna need four cups of pasta, one cup of water, and a lot of extra cheese. I got mozzarella, which is the best kind. So, you start by pouring your pasta all around. And you can use any kind of pasta you want. Okay. You with me so far? I'm with you. All Looking right. good. All right. Then we're going to just, I know this sounds crazy, but you're just literally going to pour it in. Just pour it all in. Every bit of it. Okay. Then we're going to get a cup of water. Okay. We're going to get some salt and pepper to taste. I'm going to get a different pepper. Just as much as you want. Salt in there. You use Himalayan sea salt. Sorry, I lost my voice, so bear with me. Now, I'm literally just going to stir it up just a little. The reason I like this is because you don't have to use all these pans. When you're in an RV, you got limited space. You literally, everything is in one pan. Okay, now that that's done, I am going to. Put more cheese because I believe you can never have enough cheese. Okay. I'm literally just going to put some cheese all around. You can add more later if you think it needs it, but I don't think it will. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put it in the oven at 375 degrees for 25 to 30 minutes. We're gonna start doing that. And then we'll come back, we'll stir it all up, and put it back in. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, and we'll come back in 25 to 30 minutes. My throat is horrible. I'm losing my voice. I'm so sorry. I sound horrible. I'll just whisper. Okay, so. I don't mind. <laughs> I'll whisper. <laughs> so, I've got my gloves on, ready to end this cool. I'm going to get this out. And it's going to look funky. It's going to look funky. It's going to look a little funky. But we're going to stir it up and then put it back in. So, it won't take long. Let's just take it out. Look at that. You see it? That looks funky, don't it? I told you it looked funky. Don't worry. We're going to take it out very carefully. I'm going to put it right over here. It looks funky. 
Nobody worry. No stress. It's all good. So we're just going to stir it up. Look at this. Oh. Oh, look at that. Stir it up. We're just going to gently stir it. It looks weird, I know. But all of the sauces will be absorbed. Looks like I could have cooked it a little longer. But it doesn't matter. Because I'm going to stir it up real good. And then I'm going to put it back in the oven. For probably another... So I realized RV cooking takes a little longer, right? So I said 25 to 30. But in an RV oven... That's more like 40. So we're going to stir it up real carefully. And then we're going to stick it back in the oven for another 20 to 30, I think. Just because it's in an RV. And as much as we love our ovens, we do know they take a little longer to perfect our food. You see what I'm doing? I'm just gently stirring it up. All right, so we're going to stick it back in the oven, and because we're doing this RV style, we need to give it a little more time. So I'd say at least 30 more minutes. Probably an hour. Maybe 40. But, you know, you can time it. All right, we'll come back and let you know. All right, let's pull it out and see what happens. Oh, look at how bubbly it is. Get a good grasp on it. It's not. It's heavy. Let's stir it up. Okay. Once you pull out of the oven, you just keep stirring. Look at this. It's incredible. It's gonna be very cheesy. It didn't need to be strained. It did. You didn't have to boil the pasta. It literally is a one pan mac and cheese this is incredible pretty sure it's healthy too i already tried to bite y'all i'm telling you you got to try it make your tongue knock your teeth out that's right enjoy so if people tell you that you cannot cook a thanksgiving dinner in an rv they're crazy because check lie. this out check this out we got banana pudding we got ham mac and cheese pulled pork we got dressing sweet potato casserole green bean casserole we got some cranberry sauce we got some glaze for the ham and we got some hungry people so god bless this to us thank god for it and now we gonna eat it